for Black History Month, Moments in Black History, is none other than my brother, my Mississippi producer, my friend, Mr. Dexter Allen. Hey, Dexter. Hey, Lady A, what's going on? Oh, you know, it's all about you today. It's your moment. <laughs> Look, we're going to do a quick little uh, 15 minute interview and we're going to talk about moments in black history. And I want to ask you, first of all, you know, we, okay. met, we met like 20 years ago. No, I'm playing. We met yeah. 10 years ago. Somewhere, somewhere <laughs> so, around. Over 10 years ago. And I want you to tell me about your very first project. Oh, wow. Your very first project you did. My very first project was titled um, Blues in My Way. Uh, okay. Yeah, B-L-U-E-Z-I-N. If you notice, I always spell blues with a Z. Right. And, um, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I titled it that because it, it was, you know, everybody's got their interpretation of, of what they think the blues is or what they think the blues is not. Uh, and, you know, there are a lot of blues connoisseurs out there and they're like, okay, well, it ain't blues if it don't sound this way. It ain't blues if it don't sound that way. So, you know, I just kind of said, you know what, if I'm paying for it, I'm going to do it my way. So uh, I titled my album Blues in My Way because I end up playing everything on the album. I, I wrote all the songs. I played all the instruments. And I said, well, hey, what else What else would be fitting but my way? Because, you know, I did the whole self-produced, self-played everything. So right. that was that was that was I hadn't hadn't done any other one quite like that. But. Um, that was my very first project. And I was very proud of it. It had it, it was some blues, but it was my way. Right. So, so we, and I like that you said that because uh, my first CD was Blues in the Key of Me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> and that, that is. That is. <laughs> well, see, and the thing about it is, you're right. Everybody wants to put you in a in a box about what blues is supposed to be, but well, blues is a feeling. That's right. <laughs> Blues it's comes a feeling. from the soul. It's a, it's a feeling. It's an emotion. It, it's an experience. It's something that you've experienced. You know, you talk about the roots of it. Uh, you know, blues is, was stuff that people had gone through, you know, or they were going through. Right. So they wrote songs about it, about whether if they were happy, if they were sad, if they were oppressed, if they were depressed. Uh, um, so they, they wrote songs and hymns and things about it. So it's about right. a feeling, about how you feel. So tell me what the last project that you've just done, the last project you've done before oh, we got in COVID. That, uh, the has the last well the one um that's that's one that's that's on the way. It, it's not out yet, so I'm not gonna. No, no, it. we're not gonna talk about that one. I'm not talking about that one. It'll be out soon. But the last project that was released was actually my first live uh, um, uh, CD, and uh, it was done live at Ground Zero in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Right. Uh, um, uh, I teamed up with some some guys out of uh, New York, Pastor Pick Productions. Uh, you know, J J Johnny Reed, and um, it, um, it it was it was something else. You know, to 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 see yourself. I'm I'm always hearing myself, but to actually see a live recording. So it was it was definitely a special one, and it and it did quite well, quite well. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> you know, I own all your CDs. <laughs> uh, you know. I always say, you know, it, this moment in Black history that we have is that there is a reason for everything. I believe that you and I have been brought together for a reason. And it's so funny because you did live down in Clarksdale, your very right. first live CD. I did a live CD in New Orleans that you helped produce. And um, everything is for a reason. And this moment that we have right here in 2021, Black History Month, is important, I believe. There's a shift and there's a change. I mean, definitely. For real. <laughs> definitely, you know? definitely. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about this is about food for the souls. You mm. know? Yeah. So <laughs> when what first of all, you I know you think you can cook gumbo better than me, but that's for another show. Uh, that's, that, that's, that's, that's for another show. <laughs> that's for another show. We'll talk about that later, later ladies and gentlemen. Don't let him fool you. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we want to talk about um, what's your favorite dish to cook? What do you like to cook? Because I know you can cook. Man, I tell you, my favorite dish for me to cook, believe it or not, is is probably smothered pork chops Woo! and bread and onions and, 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 
and and on the side you got to have some of those homemade biscuits with the butter on just the top. getting ready to say where the biscuits at yeah you got to <laughs> you know that you know that was that, that was that was one of my meals uh that uh, growing up that I always enjoyed right. my mother uh, and you've experienced my mother's cooking. Uh, That's how I wrote that in us. Yeah, that was that was one of her quick meals. She could go in there and whip it up real fast, and man, it'd stick to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? There's a song that you sing that I absolutely love on your album because we both write about food. I love uh -huh. food. So, pudding and rice is one of my songs that I love. <laughs> <laughs> I, I turn that song way up. <laughs> I love the lyrics, the whole thing. Will you do a little bit of that for us? <laughs> I will. <laughs> Putting in the rice. You got well, let me tell you a story behind that song. Yeah. I, I was trying to think of a song and I was uh actually I was uh um doing some stuff with Bobby Russian and I said, Well, uh I said, Pop, I want you to hear this song and when he heard it, he looked at me, he said, you a brave man to tell a woman that her, her pudding ain't as good as some, the other woman's rice. <laughs> but it's a fun song. It's a fun song. It has a message in it. You know, it's not so much as a good message on uh, a certain party, but it's, it's, it's a fun song. <laughs> but he's right. You was bold. Because when yeah. I heard it, I said, let me play that again. <laughs> I'll listen to pudding and rice. Dexter <laughs> Allen, you will love this song. It's fun. <laughs> Come on, Dexter. <laughs> When you when you when you tell a woman that her cooking ain't as good as another woman's cooking. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dexter, we have about five minutes. I want to talk to you, brother. I'm telling you, I love I love that song. I love all of your music. I Thank think you. That you are a staple in the blues soul genre. What you do is amazing. I told you that the first time, um, Mr. Bobby. Bobby Rush hooked us up together, you know, years ago. <laughs> I, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Um, t tell me what, uh, give me a little Black history for you, what it means to you and your family down in Mississippi. I've met your family. It's it's amazing. The uh, I love the, the, the family dynamic, period. But in Black history, going th through what we're going through right now, how are you feeling about the world today? Well, I tell you, Black history means a lot to me because of my history and my family's history. I was uh, born uh, on a farm, uh, and we grew up, um, you know, um, living off the land for for the most part. And I, I I was raised by pretty much, you know, I had my mother and father, but you know, I was 
raised by my great grandfather and, and, and my great, great grandfather. Uh, um, yeah, he was born in 1898. He lived to be 103 years old. His name was John Henry Sandifer. And he instilled a lot of knowledge in me that didn't really take hold until later in life when I became a man, some of the things that he would say uh, and, and just listening at him and some of the stories, some of the horror stories that he told and, you know, of things of how it was when he, you got to look at it, he was born in 1898. So he's seen a lot of things, but to hear his stories and then go through my own, uh, um, living in the South, living in Mississippi, uh, uh, seeing things and being exposed to things, um, it, it, it means a lot um, to see the progression the where we once were and where we've come now. So I'm, I'm always, I always say, I always got my ear to the ground. You know, I'm listening and I'm watching and I'm seeing, and I can really see um, that, that we still got a lot of work to do. Yes. You know, we still have <laughs> a lot. Of work to do. <clears throat> but I, I think right now acknowledgement is a big factor uh, that we've uh, certain parts and certain things have acknowledged that we do have that work to do. Uh, and, and that's the first step is, is acknowledging that there is a problem or there's a deficit in where we once were and where we are now. And, you know, let's let's try to fix it. Well, you know, I think that and I don't know if a lot of people get to experience this, but I, too, got to live with my great grandmother, mm. um, you know, when, uh, when I was young. And I'm glad I had that experience. I believe our stories need to be told. And, and for anybody that's listening who has young children, stories, our stories need to be told, we need to pass it down. Those Dr. Watts hymns that nobody hardly is singing anymore, y'all need right. to start teaching your children. We do not need to let that go by the wayside because they are there for a reason. But right. Dexter, I thank you for being here today. I really do. Happy Black History Month to you. <laughs> Stay black. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you being here. I really Thank do. You. Um, I want everybody to remember, please, tip Dexter. Putting in rice. What CD is that from? That's from. Uh, <laughs> I don't uh, let's see. That's from, that's from uh, uh, maybe uh, Blues of My Soul. Maybe. Yeah, Blues of My Soul. I believe that. Yeah. I got it over here. I should have put, pulled it out. But blues. blues of My Soul. Go to DexterAllen.com, y'all. Get his music, if, even if you don't donate please go and purchase musicians' music. That's what this Black History is about, about community, supporting one another and lifting one another up. Thank you so much. Thank Happy you. Black History Month, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs> You're putting in no, no, no. Right. It ain't no Uncle Ben's either. Yeah. <laughs> You're putting ain't as good as you right. See, I like that slow cook rice. You know, the kind of symbols on the top. <laughs> Your pudding ain't as good as her rice. No, don't get me wrong now, you know. Pudding is real good as a side dish. Your pudding ain't as good as her rice. Oh, 